The Valley's Best Rock, 105.1 The Blaze. Justice is here, and it's time again for Bring Justice to the Movies. The movie industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies, and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. The Morning Blaze is bringing justice to the movies. I tell you, Justice, we can't get back to going to the theater soon enough. <laughs> uh, although I think it's still going to be uh, a little while. Bring yeah. Justice to the Movies Home Edition, still brought to you by our friends at Maya Cinemas, where you can cruise by and grab yourself some movie theater popcorn if you want to really make your home home experience more authentic. They got uh, their popcorn and candy on sale uh, at the theater. This week's movie was Molly's Game, a movie from 2017. This is a true story. It's a movie I've seen, but did not watch this week because I totally... Spaced and forgot. Nice, Justice, bro. Nice. Justice, did you please say you remember to watch Molly's game this week? I did. I almost didn't, but then I remembered like late last night. I was like, oh no. So uh, yeah, I watched it. Okay, so here's what we're <laughs> gonna do. I figured I've seen it, so I'm gonna give you what I remember, and then you you tell me uh, whether or not you enjoyed the movie. If I remember correctly, uh, this, first of all, it's a true story that I remember. Yeah. It's about uh, a card ring, like gambling ring. Uh, and it's 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 about a woman. If I remember, she was an Olympic skier, right? Yep. She was like a, like a real athlete. Mm-hmm. Uh, she gets hurt or can't keep competing, and then she falls into this world of underground, big stakes card rooms. She starts her own after a certain period of time, uh, and then I think she ends up going to jail, right? Doesn't she get arrested at the end of this thing? Uh, she gets brought in by the FBI, but I don't think she officially gets like arrested. Okay, all right. So that's that's the gist of the movie. So it's got a lot of high drama. Because it's a true story, there are some real people that are in this, mm-hmm. and the one that I remember the most is supposed to be a big time Hollywood actor that they don't tell you who he's supposed to be in yeah. the movie. But if you read the book, it does tell you who it is. Yeah, and it's uh, Spider Man, right? Yep. All right. Okay. So Molly's game, take it away. When you say Spider Man, first oh, Spider Man, right? First uh, Tobey Maguire <laughs> Spider Man. Sorry, yeah. there's been like six right. since. Uh, but yeah, Tom Molly's Holland game. was like. Four, I think, when this was happening. So I wasn't even alive. Right, okay. But uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, Molly's game, she was an Olympic skier. She had back problems already and then, like, beefed it really hard at Olympic qualifying. She moved to L.A. She was supposed to go to law school and got a job as some dude's office assistant who was a total jerk. And he's the one that first started running the games, and then she eventually just took his business from him, basically. Then she moved to New York and was doing it there and got involved with uh, Russian mobsters without Mm. actually knowing it. She did this like fully legit too. Her whole thing, she talked to a lawyer before and was like, how do I make this not illegal? And he's like, as long as you don't take a cut out of the pot, you're good. Right. Oh, right. That's right. I remember. So she was fully doing that hands off until she finally had to. So that's technically like where they got her. But then they're like, you also had Russian mobsters there. So we're going to try to peg you for that. And she's like, I, and she fully had no idea of the people's lives that she was working with other than now. some of the celebrity people. All right. So she was like. Turn like, state's evidence. That's yeah. what's happening here. Yeah. Okay. And I remember now. I was very surprised because she legitimately was like, I don't know anything, but nobody believed her. And she's like, I, I okay, don't believe me. I guess Who, I'm just. Who's in, who's in this movie? Who are the actors that are in this movie? Uh, it is Jessica Chastain plays Molly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Idris Elba plays her lawyer. Michael Sarah plays. <laughs> Player X. Yeah. Player X, sorry. And uh Kevin Costner plays your dad. Oh, so, he's good in this too. I yeah. remember that. The cast is good. This is I will say this. I also remember this. This is an Aaron Sorkin movie. Mm-hmm. So if you're not too familiar with the way his stuff kind of goes, it's kind of fast. So the, the way they talk to each other is kind of quick. Yeah. So if you're not paying it, it's not the kind of movie you could be doing something else while watching. Like you yeah, have you to watch yeah, it pay attention. or you're or you're gonna get lost. Uh the kids won't like it, they'll think it's boring. But if you're looking yeah. for something to watch this weekend, it's pretty good. It is really good. I personally thought Idris Elba did a really good job. Like, he could have gotten a nomination for something. And this was actually Aaron Sorkin's directorial debut. Oh, it's the first right. time he's TV. ever directed yeah. something. Yeah. He's always just written everything. So, yeah. Well, yeah. right on. Well, Molly's Game, it got a thumbs up for me, even though I didn't watch it this week. I saw it about a year ago. The movie's from 2017. <laughs> Justice liked it as well. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, there you go. If you're looking for a movie this weekend, Molly's Game, uh, what are you thinking for next week? We need to pick a genre ahead of time. You want to do an action movie? You want to do a, a serious movie? This was a, a true a true story. Yeah. I, I, I ran into an old one on Netflix that I think could be kind of fun if we watched it. Okay. You're going to tell me now or wait? Mortal Kombat. <sighs> we could do a whole thing on movies based on yeah. video games. None of them are good. <laughs> Actually, Mortal Kombat might be the best of them. The Street Fighter one is maybe the worst. Yeah, Street oh. Fighter is horrible. Street Fighter and Mario Brothers movie are okay. up there for awful I movies. was a kid when I saw Mario Brothers movie, so, so I actually liked it. I was a kid. 
You're my movie like reviewer, five. and you liked Super Mario Bros. I was the like movie? five. John Leguizamo was funny at the okay, time. Okay, we got to have an off-air conversation <laughs> about that. A big thanks to Maya Cinemas, as always, for bringing justice to the movies. Be listening next week as we hopefully don't watch Super Mario Brothers. Industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews.